Hi everybody! Okay, so today I'm back in Ropeheads, and today I'm going to be doing my very first tutorial build. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a princess bunk bed and a princess desk. So if you go into the beds here, you can see there's a bunch of options, but there is no bunk beds yet. And there also is some tables that you can buy, but I'm going to show you guys how to make your own if you just want to get crafty and design your own things. Okay, so I'm going to use this free bed right here. First thing you'll want to do is just kind of place your bed where you would like it in the room. I think I want mine right here, like this. Okay, so next we're gonna build around the bed. So you're gonna go into decor and click on these little shapes, and then we're gonna use this little square one. So I'm gonna place this right against the wall and right against the bed, and then we're gonna resize it. I'm gonna make it as small as I can that way. And then as far as the height goes, maybe down one, because I wanna be able to see this part of the bed. So maybe about right here. And then we're just gonna drag it to the end of the bed. And then you can just duplicate it and move it to the other side. And then we're gonna make little slabs here for the end as well and resize those ones skinny and make sure they're the same height. Boop! And drag this to the end. Make sure everything lines up and it does. Gotta resize this first and resize this one. There we go. And then we can just move this to the end of the bed here, the front of the bed. Sometimes you do gotta move stuff around a little bit to make it work, but there you go. Okay, next I'm gonna want to cover up this part of the bed and this part of the bed to really make it look like a bunk bed. So these front parts, I'm just gonna resize them. So I'm gonna drag this forward and I'm gonna put this above that part of the bed. So there you go, it's in there. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one down here. I'm gonna drag it through the wood and then bring it up so you can't see it. Now this is kind of where you can design your bed however you want, however you see fit. For me, I'm going to drag this up this is gonna be the, like the back baseboard of my bunk bed. This part right here, I'm gonna leave right here and I'm gonna create little poles that way you can see easily through it. So one thing about this one is you can make this square or you could use the circular one, which would also be cute, this thing right here. So just kind of bring this down and resize it to its smallest thing. I think I am gonna actually use the round one. We're gonna delete this one and we're gonna duplicate this one and put it right here. Here. So now for the top part of the bunk bed, you're going to want to make sure that you have enough space on the bottom for you to get in and out of bed. So for now, I'm going to drag this back down so I can make the top portion of my bed. And I think I just want to make sure I have enough room above my head so I don't hit my head. So now I'm going to make um, a slab on the top. So we're going to push that down, pull this over here. And we're gonna pull all the way out here so it lines up with the edge of the bed here. And then I'm gonna drag my poles up drag this pull up okay so now I'm gonna put another bed up top so I'm gonna go back into my bed to grab a free bed we're gonna turn it and we're gonna place that right back on top in the center okay so now I can grab this and we're just gonna drag this all the way up and through there and then I'm going to just copy and paste this one on the side of the bed right here here. Um, I've actually created a little ridge around here. I think it adds extra detail. You guys see that? But you don't have to do that. You can just make it really smooth and clean if you want to. I just think that looks nice. Okay, so now we have the bases of that. I'm going to go ahead and color mine. So I was doing like a pink and white color theme here. So I'm going to go ahead and color it to kind of match what I've got going on with my room. <music> So now I'm going to add a ladder. This ladder is brand new with the update. It costs 100 coins right here, but this is perfect for bunk beds. Just kind of place this. You can put it wherever you want, obviously. You can put it over here on this side or on this side, but I'm going to put mine right here. I think I'm going to do my ladder actually pink. There we go. So now you can climb up here easily to the second bunk bed, or you can just come down here. They have this little heart mirror, which I think will look really cute down here at the bottom bunk. And for the second bunk, I'm gonna make a little crown up here because I'm doing kind of like a princess themed room. Go back into my build, I'm gonna grab the square, put it right here on top, then we're gonna resize it because it's too big. Now I'm gonna pull this down because we're just gonna be making like a crown. Then I'm gonna grab these little spike ones right here. And obviously these are too big, so you're gonna need to resize sizes. I'm going to make mine flat, shorter, skinnier, about like this. And then I'm going to make another one. So I'm going to copy this one, place it right here, but we're going to shrink this one down a little bit more. And then I'm going to copy this one and put one over here on this side. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into build. The third one right here is the glowy circle. So I'm going to grab one of these. I'm going to shrink this down as small as it can go. Then I'm going to kind of place these on top. It's going to be really hard because this is pointy, but I'm going to place mine 
about like this. As you can see, sometimes it's a little bit challenging to get it exactly where you want it. So from the front here, they look pretty good. But as you can see, you look to the side and they're kind of in the front. I think it looks fine though. Like from down here, it looks fine. Now I'm going to color my crown. We're going to make it a gold, typical crown color. Okay, so there's the princess bunk bed. All done. Um, it costs very, very little actually in-game coins. The only thing I really had to buy was the mirror and this ladder, which wasn't even that expensive. The beds were free. All the rest was free building. So you don't have much money in this game yet. A really nice option for you. Now I'm actually gonna work on a princess desk. So if you look in your decor here, you actually have a few desk options. So obviously you can use one of those, but they are a little bit expensive. So maybe you don't have money yet. So I'm gonna show you guys how I would build my own free desk just in case you're broke. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually just gonna copy and paste these for the bottom part of my desk. So they have these little free chairs right here so you can get one out and kind of place it when you're trying to build your desk. That way you can figure out exactly how high your desk needs to be. So this needs to be come down a little bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and make four of these and just kind of place them however wide you want your desk. Now I'm going to go back into my build and we're gonna make a little slab here to go on top. This is gonna be the top portion of our desk. Resize it, make it as thin as possible. Drag it over here, drag it, oops, drag it up. As you can see, my legs aren't quite attached, so I'm just gonna go into stretching these and pull them up, make sure that the legs are attached. And we're gonna go ahead and paint this white. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into my free slab area. Again, I'm gonna place one back here. This is gonna be the back part of the desk. We're just gonna make this as thin as possible. Do this, and right here you can do it as high, as low, as you want for the back portion of your desk. What I'm gonna do is just copy and paste my crown. We are gonna put that right on top of my desk because this is supposed to be like a matching, matching furniture set. There we go, now we got a crown on top. So in the decor area, they have a bedside table right here. It costs 260 coins. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy that, and we're gonna place it right here underneath the desk, as you can see. This is gonna be part of my desk. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint it um, all white to match that. We're gonna give it pink handles. There we go, and it adds like a nice little area there for your desk. We're gonna move my chair up right close to the desk and we're gonna paint my chair. They have this little bitty mirror right here, which is a free mirror. So it's a nice little detail to add to your desk if you want to. And of course you can paint it to make it match whatever color scheme you've got going on. We're gonna go ahead and add a free pet bed at the end of the bunk beds here for your pet in the game. Go ahead and color that pink. We got a lot of pink going on here. So I feel like it does need a little carpet here. I'm gonna go and buy this heart. We kind of have a heart up here. So we need to keep the thing going. Cost 500 coins. And I'm gonna place that right here, roughly at an angle. We're gonna color that because red is not matching my room. Let's see, now just for some extra detail, I'm gonna go ahead and add a balloon. We're gonna go ahead and make the balloon like a hot pink color so it kind of stands out and doesn't blend in with the wall. So there we go, my princess themed bunk bed and desk are done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this build tutorial. Leave a like if you want me to do more. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do more because I love doing this. And let me know if you try out the bunk bed and what kind of style you go with. I'd love to know what you guys try. Okay, well, bye everybody.